call me because my name's Aaron. Big A. The Big A. But I'm not very big, so. You're tall. Much tall. Not tall. But tall. Kind of scrawny. All right, so here, let's just, uh, what dimensions are being used here All right. in this experiment we or are, in this uh, measurement? We are measuring mass. Uh, kilogram is mass, so mm -hmm. that's the dimension. Yes. All right, now, miles per hour, that's kind of like two different Yeah, that's sides. a length. So miles would be length. Over a time. Length over time, yeah. All right, grams is. That's a mass. Mass, yeah. And then moles. That's a quantity. Per amount. Amount, yeah. Yeah, or a quantity, same thing, really. Yeah. And then grams per milliliter. That's a mass. That'd per be a mass volume. per volume. Or, what else could you say about that? We can call that density. density yeah, is well. Grams per milliliter. Or you could also call that mass per distance. Cubed. Cubed. Because a uh, milliliter is the same thing as one cubic centimeter. Yeah, actually, that's a very important thing to write, write yeah, this down, guys. Again. One milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed. Very important. That means if you had a box that was one centimeter. Now, a centimeter, by the way, just from a perspective, is about one fingernail width by one fingernail width by one fingernail width. That's a centimeter. So if you would have a box that was one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, that would be the definition of a milliliter. One milliliter. In fact, while we're at that, do you understand, if you were to fill that box with water, not add the mass of the box, right. it would weigh one gram. Right. Not a, that only applies to water because water right. has a density of one gram per, per milliliter. Yeah, other substances have different densities. Right. Actually, that is the definition of how, or how they... Uh, That's how they came up with the came SI up system. With the SI system. It's they, all based on water. Yes. Yeah. In fact, the temperatures, <laughs> yeah. Celsius scale. Celsius scale is based on water. Actually, it's based upon water and also the meter. Yes. And what a meter is, yep. which is defined by some things. Mr. Bergman is making his computer beep. I uh, am. Yeah. All right. Temperature. Temp. We saw the temperature in your in the uh, the carmometer. The carmometer. I love that word. That's the great? carmometer. Yeah. But we need to talk about the different kinds of temperature. Now we really don't care much about Fahrenheit, guys. Sorry, scientists don't even use Fahrenheit. So we've got well, the one you're familiar with is probably degrees Celsius. All right. A couple things about degrees Celsius is at zero degrees. What's water that? freezes. Water freeze. Speaking of now, water, it's only water. Not everything freezes at zero degrees Celsius. That is another very common misconception. That is my true. Students. Do you understand that? Like, um, I have. Um, I'm. St this table right here. Yeah, it's made out of metal. Made out of steel. It's out of steel. Um, and it's. It's fr frozen. It's frozen. Yeah. Frozen. Yeah. It doesn't feel too cold. It's to me. a solid. But see, frozen means it's a solid. Right. All right. But water, we know, freezes at zero degrees Celsius, and at a hundred degrees Celsius, water boils. Is that a hundred? 100 Your handwriting degrees. is starting to look like mine. Ah, Notice like Mr. Bergman does all the writing. That's because my handwriting is completely illegible. I wrote it better now. Yeah. So 100 degrees Celsius, water boils. Good. Okay. okay. Well, let's but convert. What we really care about is that there's a conversion between this Celsius and this Kelvin. Right. The Kelvin temperature. So degrees Celsius. Okay. Celsius. Plus 273. 273 equals the Kelvin. Kelvin. Notice I didn't write degrees Kelvin. No, it's just Kelvin. Kelvin. So Celsius plus 273 gives us Kelvin. Just remember that 273 number. All right, so let's do um, some uh, practice. So All let's right. say I have, um, let me see. 25, 25 degrees Celsius. 25 degrees Celsius. Pretty typical room temperature. What is that in Kelvin? Well, well, what let's I do? add 273. Just add 273. Now do... <laughs> I don't even need a calculator, no. Mr. Sam's on that one. That's 298. too easy. 298. 298. Okay. All right. Let's like take a really cold temperature. Let's okay. say it's negative uh, 150 degrees Celsius, which is really, really cold. That's yep. colder than Earth has ever been. All right. Yeah. The coldest recorded temperature. Yeah. At least. We would then, of course, do what? I add 273. Add 273. And so we would then add that. We have a yep. negative number, and we're adding 273 yep, to it. Yep, we get 123. That'd be 123 Kelvin. Now, what if Mr. Bergman at, wanted me to use the calculator. Yeah. I didn't need to use the yeah, calculator. Yeah, I was trying to do it in my head, too. All right, what if I have negative 273 degrees Celsius? Okay. All right, get the calculator. I hope you don't All right. One. All right. We're going to add 273 to that. Right. And you get? Zero. Zero K. Hey, by the way. We should note that there's no such thing as negative Kelvin. Yeah, you it's can't. It's an absolute go, scale. And actually, the reason I picked this number, guys, yeah. this is actually a, a famous temperature. It's called it's absolute called. zero. By the way, there's a test question on your exam. What is the temperature in Kelvin at absolute zero? Zero Kelvin. Yeah. You can never, what, if you get something to zero Kelvin, what's going to happen? The universe ceases to exist. No, I don't no, know. No, that's not true. No? Okay. It stops molecular motion. Because yes. actually, temperature, which I think we've talked about, is mm -hmm. actually a measure of the average 
kinetic energy right. of a molecule. And so molecules are constantly in motion. Yeah, they're either moving around or they, if they're in the solid, they just kind of vibrate. And so they're kind of vibrating, but when you get it cold enough, they'll stop. And cold mm -hmm. enough, the definition of cold enough is absolute zero, zero Kelvin. Now we probably should go in the other direction. Okay, let's do a couple more machines. Let's okay. say I've got uh, 305. 305 Kelvin. What's that in degrees Celsius? What well, do you do we there? subtract 273. Yeah, we subtract 273. And what do you get there? 32. 32. Degrees Celsius. Degrees no naked Celsius. numbers. Let's try one more. Well, what's about uh, 25 Kelvin? 25 like. Kelvin. So we subtract 273. So, so 25 minus 273. We get negative 248. Negative 248. Degrees? No. Kelvin. No. Degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Yes. Ah! Negative. 248 <laughs> degrees Celsius. I'm trying there to is. remember. Okay. All so right. that's how we do temperature stuff. Um, I guess it. we're done. Yep. Enjoy. Watch that karmometer.